D-Lab welcomes you to another episode of Tube M Theta. Hey, greetings from Terry here at D-Lab. In the shop tonight, I have a 1956 Fender Champ in the cool old tweed cabinet. The owner sent it to me with the complaint that after about an hour, the output drops and it gets very distorted. And then if he smacks it or wiggles her around, it starts working again. Should be a good one. Let's check it out and see what we find. So first off, let's take a look at her cosmetically. It's got some wear and tear, but all in all, she's in good shape. Let's go around to the back. Here we are backside. Now I have removed the back panel so you can see what's going on. It's got the original speaker. The old uh, Champ decal down there. Nice dust fall out from over the years. It looks like the coupling caps are original in the preamp. The old original wiring. And most of the decals unfortunately are wore off on the control panel. Alright, so you know the routine. First off, gotta have some wine, right? Next, we're gonna give this thing a good visual. Look for the obvious problems. Then, we're going to put it on my old boat anchor HP 140A oscilloscope and see if we can see any noise. And you get to see a cool old scope in operation. Alright, so the first thing I noticed on my visual inspection, if you take a look inside of these jacks, I'm shining a light in there, hopefully you can see it. There's a lot of score marks, there's a lot of corrosion, so that's a source of noise these jacks are going to have to be replaced. But that's not the worst of it. Let me show you down here. Tilt this jabber. Look at the little shorting contacts on the plugs. Somebody bent them out of place. So the shorting function doesn't work at all on this amp. So here's the next thing I noticed. Here's a 1.5K resistor right there. Okay. And it goes down there to that eyelet connection. I'm going to zero in on that and take a look at the solder connection. Hopefully this will show up on video. Where that lead goes in, there's a crack all the way around that guy, which would cause some intermittent preamp operation. We'll have to solder that up after I clean the resistor lead. So here's the coolest find of all. This is the 5Y3 rectifier. This lead here goes off of it as your DC out which goes to the filter caps take a look at the wire right there see that it's never been soldered that's factory nobody's been in here since the day they built it it was never soldered I wonder how long this amp really did work correctly all right so housekeeping wise you take a look back here you can see evidence that maybe a mud dauber used to live in here there's some general uh, dust and dirt. I'm going to clean all that out. And hopefully the tube sockets are okay. But first, we're going to fix these immediate problems. Alright, so I've got the amp powered up. I'm monitoring on the old boat anchor HP 140A. I've got the volume about halfway up. I'm just going to put my hand in here. Hear that? It's because those shorting plugs aren't working. Okay, let's take a look at the scope. Turn that up and get my hand in there. See that? I'm moving tubes around. Listen to that, huh? Everything in here. That's probably those bad connections. So let's get that fixed. Alright, so I'm going to give the HP a little rest, since that thing generates a lot of noise. But it is pretty cool to listen to it. It's actually music to my ears. I love that old crap, right? Anyway, I talked to the owner, explained the issue, and of course he would like it if I could have maintained those old original jacks, but they're just way too far gone. And what I have here is a couple new Switchcraft type, and they're built just like they did back in the day, but no, they're not going to be 50 years old. 
but they'll fix that problem. So I'm going to install these, fix the solder connections, and then we'll check the amp again. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is change these out. And you see the construction of these jacks. And here's the new ones that are going to go in. Still switchcraft, still great quality. I don't use any of these new Chinese ones or any other brands. I stick with the switchcrafts even though, yep, they're expensive. So here's that wire that was never soldered. So what I'm going to do is clean the conductor and then clean the pin to make sure we get a good connection. The other thing that I wanted to show you was the new jacks are installed but when I was pulling out one of the old jacks that one mega ohm resistor was already broken just sitting in there so this thing has seen a little bit of abuse in its past all three of the defects are fixed this wire on the 5Y3 has finally seen some solder after 50-60 years whatever it's been this resistor here is now soldered properly into the eyelet and of course the switchcraft jacks are installed. So let's fire it back up and check that sensitivity. All right, so here we go. I've got it fired back up. That volume is at the halfway point. And remember how I would put my hand here and you'd hear it? I thought I broke it. It was so quiet. All right, here's full volume. I thought, that's the quietest champ I've ever heard. I mean, this thing's like, all I hear is birds outside, okay? so. If I turn that down, just to prove to you it's actually working, unbelievable. Let's put it on the scope and see if the sine wave looks good. Alright, so here we go. Got the Heathkit audio generator going into the amp. Monitoring on the old HP. Bring her up here. Just look at that sine wave. Look at that baby. Let's take it up to the point of distortion here. Looking good. Let's kill the uh, noisemaker, shall we? Well, I'd call that a good repair. All the obvious stuff. This is what I've been telling you guys about all along. Look for the obvious. If it's old, it's war. In this case, it was a quick repair. That was probably. 15 minutes and the amp is working great now I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna let it burn in I, I'm gonna check the tubes etc but right now I'm calling it good hope you like the video keep watching D-Lab for other vintage amplifier repairs on tube amp theta see you